let's start working on the concept of omitted variable bias and let's do it based on an example so that we don't focus too much on all the notations with expected values and all that but the actual intuition and that's gonna make all the sense because what matters in this whole statistics slash econometrics thing is to be able to read tables is to be able to interpret things so that's what we're gonna focus on now notice this we have here two models in the first model we are regressing earnings right how much people make in, in money based on their height apparently that's a determinant it's significant as we can see and that effect is given to us by the slope coefficient which is 707.67 let's suppose that height is measured in centimeters earnings is measured in dollars so how we'd, we would interpret it is if someone is uh, has a height higher by one centimeter so height increases by one centimeter then the then the earnings would go up the earnings would go up by 707.6 dollars per year let's suppose that's the case per year I and mean, it's significant so that would make sense that's a causal effect and in the second model what we're trying to do is we estimate the same regression but we add one more variable because we have a thought that maybe this single variable is not enough to make an accurate prediction so we do so we regress earnings based on height as we did before but now we include the effect of education as well because it would make sense that education affects earnings right education affects earnings and maybe education has something to do with height that's something we'll discuss in the next video but for now let's see what the intuition is here both of them are significant because the p-value as we can notice is 0, 0.00 for both cases but notice now the coefficients what we can see is that the effect of height is 408 so now if we interpret that means that when height increases by one centimeter then the earnings go up by only 408 dollars per, per year earnings go up by 408 uh, dollars dollars per year why is that the case notice it goes up by less than before well that's because over here we were missing a variable we were omitting a variable that's where this is coming for that's that's where this is coming from and because we were missing one variable we were not including the accurate effect like this effect was all was also including this was also including the effect of education to an extent the effect of height so the effect of height on earnings was included partly the effect of education as well but when we controlled for that when we included education in the second model over here the effect of height on earnings decreased because now it is more accurate basically we subdivided the 700.7 in one effect from height and one effect from education so one effect from height and one effect from education that's the intuition so what happened here is that we were biased biased means that we were not accurate because we were missing something we were omitting something and that's the variable that we were omitting in the next video we'll see graphically what's the intuition behind this ovb when it happens and when it doesn't.